All right, so quite a few people have asked me what kind of benchmark tool do I use? And uh, the answer to that is CapFrame X. I typically used to use uh, RTS-esk in combination with MSI Afterburner. You get more or less the same kind of result, but uh, the latest videos all have uh, CapFrame X. And the reason for that is because it's got the GPU busy built in. You can obviously include it in RTSS as well, but it's just a little bit easier for me with CapFrame X, right? So I'm just going to show you a quick video of how to actually set up CapFrame X here, just to get all these numbers on you and how to add numbers, how to change them, etc., etc. So all you have to do is just go to capframex.com forward slash download. I will include this in the description below. You can just download the install installer and uh, install it from there. Just remember to install RTSS as well, right? So that is Riva Tuna Statistics Server. It does come packaged with this installer as well. So just remember to include that. Anything else do, do, not, do not include. So then if we have a look at all exactly what the CapFrame X looks like once you install it, I've got, uh, there's quite a few tabs here at the top, uh, capture analysis, overlay, whatever. So for this video, we're just going to be focusing on overlay, right? And uh, yeah, you will select whichever options you want to have displayed in your overlay or the on-screen display, right? So OSD is on-screen display and graph will show you a graph, right? Like the frame time graph that I've got in my videos. Over here, you just select or tick whichever ones you want displayed in your on-screen display. So I'm going to do it real time quickly. So if we go back to our game, you'll see the top line says RDX 4070 Ti Super. There's a, a temperature and percentage used. And then if we just untick this one, you can just uh, save and now you'll see that it's gone. Right, okay, so easy as that. So it's just the GPU core temperature, right? So we'll just go ahead and save that again. And now you'll see it's at the top and it does include the temperature as well. And that's basically all you do is um, you select whichever options you, you want to include on the on-screen display. So for instance, if we want GPU hotspot temperature as well, which we don't have currently, now we do have a uh, hotspot temp as well sitting at 75 76c right and the the nice thing about this is you can you can rename any of these items so if we click on uh, gpu core temperature you can type in whatever you want for each of these items now one thing that i do manually select is just the group color so i'm using an nvidia gpu for for these videos and uh, i just make the group color for all of those green right so gpu core temperature gpu memory everything is uh, set to green and then for the cpu stuff i do use an intel cpu so if we go here yeah, cpu percentage i do select blue so if we go back to our overlay here, you'll see that the GPU related items are in green and the CPU stuff is blue. Now the RAM info, it actually pulls automatically. I did not uh, type in 6,400 megatransfers per second, whatever, the RAM info is just there. So you can, you can literally select anything that you want, show it on your on-screen display. Just, uh, just make a note of, so, so there's that custom RAM description, right? So RAM info, this is what it uh, uses to pull the, the RAM info. And uh, just just make sure that you, you remember what the toggle overlay hotkey is. Because if you go into your game and you press Alt and O, the overlay will disappear and reappear, right? So <laughs> that's basically it. And I think I broke it now. Anyway, so there it's back. And then I don't have a uh, real time uh, uh, lows here at the moment, but we will add them now. So 1% and 0.2% uh, lows. Unfortunately, with this overlay, there's no 0.1% lows, but it is in the benchmark. So if you if you run a manual benchmark, you will see the 0.1% lows. I'm not going to be touching too much on the benchmark itself, uh, but I'll show you just uh, how it works. And then, over here, if you want to reset your metrics, I just set it to alt and page up, right? So if we go here now, you'll see we've got the 1% lows and 0.2% lows. And if I want to reset those numbers, which I do after each run, I just press alt and page up, 
and the numbers would be refreshed, all right? And then the same goes for, for average, so real-time average FPS. I also usually include that. So now you've got an average there. If you want to refresh the average, alt and page up, and those numbers would be refreshed. Now, frame time, you'll see as a graph there. And the reason for that is there's a graph column over here, and I just selected graph instead of OSD. All right, and that's pretty much it. Just go through all of these settings, whichever ones you, you want to use. If you want to see the, the GPU busy metrics, the, the ones that I used in my uh, bottleneck video, then we can just go ahead and select that. So we'll just use a GPU active frame time average and GPU active devia time deviation, right? So if we go ahead and save that, now we've got our GPU busy average, frame time average, and GPU busy deviation in red. And uh, that basically, that that's how I, what I use to determine whether I've got a CPU bottleneck or not. Now, there are many ways to skin a cat. You can do all of this with the RTSS as well. You can do it with the uh, MSI Afterburner. It's just this one is a little bit easier to set up personally. I mean, the the other ones you you have to import plugins and this and that and whatever. Uh, this one is just a little bit easier if you if you just want more. Like I'm not going to say basic info, but it's just easier to set up the basic info. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Now, if we if you want to run some benchmarks here, so these are just benchmarks that are that are ran. So we've got Dragon's Dogma. I didn't even do full benchmarks, right? It's just, uh, you can see it's like 10 second benchmarks. But if you if you go over to capture, you'll see that there's a capture hotkey, right? And the capture time is 30 seconds. And uh, right, so if we go into our analysis tool here, you'll see that the last benchmark I ran was Cyberpunk 2077. And if we go into our game here, if we press F11, it'll actually start the capture. It'll tell you via voice that there's a, a capture started and your on-screen display will disappear, okay? So after 30 seconds, the on-screen display will, well, should reappear, but you'll also get a notification via audio to say that the capture is complete. And if we, I mean, we can manually stop it as well by just pressing F11, and then you can see that our on-screen display comes back. Now, if we go back to, uh cap from x i did not specify the game's name but here's the the game's benchmark right so we've got frame times frames per second whatever whatever you can customize all this as well but you can see our uh, p95 our average p1 p5 one percent low average whatever you can you can actually select these as well but as i said i'm not going to be going too too much into detail with the benchmark itself i just wanted to show you how to set up the overlay hopefully you guys learned something from this video if it did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one